So this is Hunter's ilium. And I can feel the wings of ilium that run down here. And they're going to meet probably with the ischiatic tuberosities, which are right here. And then we're going to feel Hunter's pelvic bone, which is right here. That's the pelvic bone. So if we go from the ilium to the femur, in between we have the hip joint. We run down the femur here, uh, proximal to distally rather to the femur is going to be the patella. I can feel the patella right here. And causally to the patella is going to be the greater trochanter. Uh, and the medial and lateral condyles. So I can feel uh, right here his medial condyle and right here is going to be his lateral condyle. Running distally to the patella is going to be the tibia and the fibia. So I can feel his tibia right here and laterally to the tibia is going to be his fibia. Laterally to the tibia fibia is going to be his tarsal bones. Uh, and this is right here, his calcaneus on the caudal part of the tars tarsal bone. And I can feel his Achilles tendon, which runs right here. Uh, caudally to the tarsal bones is the metatarsal bones. And the metal tarsal bones run right here. Again, we can go medially to laterally, and we can label his bones one, two, three, four, and five metal tarsal bones. And laterally to the metal tarsal bones is the phalanges, and the phalanges can be labeled again medially to laterally. Uh, one would be if he had a dewclaw, Hunter does not have a dewclaw. Uh, two, three, four, and five. And that is a summary of Hunter's leg.